Of course, I will take to the podium at 7 o'clock this evening and deliver the Winnie Matikizela Mandela legacy lecture, which, of course, will be a reflection of her role that she played during the dark days of apartheid here in South Africa. And, of course, thousands of ANC members are expected to gather here at the City Hall in Johannesburg to actually listen to what the President has to say in honouring the late ANC stalwart Mama Winnie Matikizela Mandela. Certainly, a lot of uh, enthusiasm, a lot of excitement that we've seen on our arrival here at the City Hall with these ANC members uh, showing that excitement that they are looking forward, of course, to this first uh, lecture by, you know, uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa surrounding Mama Matikizela Mandela. You remember, of course, that there's been a lot of celebration as she would have been celebrating her birthday on the 26th ANC in Houding, having been in the forefront in sort of honoring uh, Mama Matikizela Mandela for her role. Now, this is the apex of her celebration uh, of her lifetime that, you know, she has dedicated to the struggle and of course the ANC now President Cyril Ramaphosa to deliver the lecture in honor of the late Mama Matikizela Mandela. But some uh, Shante have been arguing that only now uh, Mama Matikizela Mandela is being honored but certainly a uh, thing, uh, thing that is yet to be debated in as far as whether why was not she was she not being honored as she was uh, still alive. Now she's dead. It's a method of people saying that ANC maybe they're trying to remedy a situation where they kind of have neglected Mama Matikizela Mandela. Now it's time that she be honoured, of course, as we are waiting for President Cyril Ramaphosa to take to the podium in a few minutes, uh, right, in fact, at 7 o'clock, to talk to the thousands of ANC members who will be, you know, attending this event. And, of course, uh, one of the ANC members joins me here to actually tell us about the expectation today. Here we are, ma'am. Uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa is to take to the podium. What does it mean to us as South Africans, to us as, as, as the public, that we are here to honour Mahomet Zalamani? It means a lot to us because today is one of the great days we are remembering Mama. In fact, we have been doing some activities for the whole week. Now this is the last one that we are doing on Sunday, having a memorial lecture that is going to be done by our president. She's one of the outstanding women. She didn't die, she multiplied herself. That is why you find us still here in this hall. Some are arguing that she's only being honored now that she's passed away. She, she should have been honored while she was still alive. What's your view in as far as that is concerned? I don't think that it's true, but people have the right to say anything that they like to do. Because it's unlike Mama was not being recognized when she was still alive. We still do recognize her. We did previously when she was still alive. And I don't think that as the African National Congress we should be dragged into those things that people are commenting about in the social media. Mama is still the best woman that we must fight for. Uh, that we must always protect, that we must always remember. Even if she's no longer with us, but her spirit is with us. That's why we'll never stop celebrating her life. What we learned from Mama Matikis We have learned so much. We have learned humility. We have learned commitment. We have learned dedication. We have learned that if you need something, you must fight for it. It doesn't come in a silver plate. We have learned that in our country, all those that are poor, we must work for them. We must serve them with dedication and commitment. Thank you so much, man, for your time. Always a pleasure, sir. No, Mantin Komo, she's from the ANC Women's League, just joined us now to actually out outline what you can expect during the course of the evening. Shanti, a lot is expected to happen, but the main focus will be on ANC President Cyril Ramaphosa as he will be delivering this lecture this evening at 7 o'clock. Definitely. Thank you very much for your time. SABC's Abongile Dumako just taking us through what we can expect tonight at Johannesburg's City Hall. We do believe that President Cyril Ramaphosa is set to take the stage at 7 p.m. South African time to deliver that in Oracle lecture. We take a